will come back to another Diamond and Rare Halas video. On this occasion, I decided to open my Layton Lake map on multiplayer. And the reason for this is that I wanted other people to join my server so they helped me get response quicker. And I decided to do so mainly because my Layton Lake map is currently full of small males. And while well, I'm currently on this region, and I just put it something that is a small, but that I wouldn't call exactly a small male. Right there. Level 3 Jackrabbit. That might be the Easter Bunny, so I would like to get close and to take him down is a crossbow. It shouldn't be too hard, they have really bad senses, so I'm gonna place a mark here. And here we go. Okay, we're about 30 minutes away. And they already know we're here. Let's see. That isn't him. Maybe he already spooked, but I just hope that isn't the case. Although... I don't see it. Okay. He's there. I was starting to think he ran away, but good to see he's still there. So we're gonna zero for 30, and let's get a bit closer. Let's see. Just gonna let him. Okay, he's alert. He has to stop in a moment. And that's it, he's down. We finally got this Easter Bunny, which... Well, I hope it is a diamond. It is a diamond, 6.4. I was actually looking to get one of these because I don't have many jackrabbits on my lodge, so this is a nice addition. Well, as you can see, we're back on the Great Herschel Den, with the only goal of continuing the Red Deer grind. I actually just started 10 minutes ago, I killed 4 stacks down there, and I'm currently on this lake up here. And, well, I just put it... A level 5 Bible stack, which is actually the first rare stack of a grind. And there has to be another stack on this same herd. There are always two here. Okay, it is right there next to Bible. Alright, so I could easily take a shot here with a 308, but I would like to increase the difficulty by getting close to it to use a crossbow. We're getting very close ahead. And the wind is excellent. So now it's just a matter of finding good cover, which seems to be. In one of these bushes, they seem to be close enough to her to not have to use a color. Yeah, they are all down there. You can see all the tracks. So we're gonna take over on this bush. And we should be able to see him. Okay. I only see hands here, so... The Bible must be on that side. So I'm gonna crawl there and we'll see him. He has to be there, no doubt. We are really close. But I bet he still doesn't know we're here. Yep, 24 meters away. Let's see how close we can get before he notices us. I guess at like 20, maybe even less. Okay, let's see here. We should be around 20 now. Okay, we're at 19 and he still has no idea we're here. So I'm gonna just keep crawling until he gets alert, and we're gonna take a shot. Okay. Here we go. And that was a viral. Though I wanted to hit the heart, but we missed it. Anyway, we're gonna pack this nice Bible stack. That's the first rare of this Herschel and Red Deer grind, which is a 129.9 silver. And as I said, I attempt to go for a hard shot, but I missed it by an inch. Still, the shot was good enough to get a full score on this nice trophy. Okay, after I got the Bible ready, I decided to do a run for Bison, because we cannot forget that I still need to get a Melanistic European Bison. And, uh, well, I just came across, not a Mela yet, but a really big bull. He ran this way. It shouldn't be too far, it was right in front of me. Okay, right there. Up to 324, level 5, European Bison. That could be a giant diamond. I mean, with that estimate, it certainly has a very good chance to be a high scoring diamond. I simply cannot wait to kill it with the 470. And we're gonna do our best to get a headshot this time. By the way, I'm currently on this place right here. It is usually a decent spot for a bison. I mean it is decent, don't expect to see a crazy amount of bison, but there's always a chance you have a big boy here. Alright, I was actually... I was actually thinking 
that this bison was gonna come back, however he didn't. So I guess we're gonna have to track him down until that happens because I want to get a hard shot. Okay, that might be him. But I'm not quite sure because I don't see a pink tracks in that area so that might be a different bison. But I still am a sporty just to make sure. Okay, he's there. Let's see. Alright, just level 2. I've been tracking this guy for quite some time now, but it looks like we're finally gonna have a chance because I'm pretty sure he's coming back right here. He's right there at 75 meters. And he's alert, so we must take cover. The only issue here though is that none of these spines provide full cover, but still, that shouldn't be a huge problem. I mean, in this situation, we're gonna be good with partial cover. We don't really need to get extremely close, so we'll be just fine. He's right behind that pine. At 55 meters. We're gonna zero for 50. And now, I'm gonna let him so he faces us and we can go for the heart. Okay, here we go. We finally got him. That was a hard shot. Finally. Took us quite some time, but we finally got this guy. Now let's see how big he is. And I wanna think he's a diamond because the estimate was huge. Yeah, he has to be a diamond and hopefully a max score. That would be amazing. Let's see. 287.9 diamond. Well, it is a big diamond. I mean, it is on the lower end of what you could consider a big diamond, but he's awfully big. Not the biggest I've gotten, but probably top 3. That's a rather interesting sight. A black gold wild boar. They are not exactly common, so it's always cool to find one. And she's not alone, she's actually part of a decent size sound there. But well, it seems like they are all small. So to be honest, here I don't see a single reason to not use the 308. And even though I usually like to take my time and use a bow or something, on this case it's just a female, so I don't think it's worth it. We're just gonna finish this quickly. Let's see. Now she's nervous, so I'ma take a shot right here. As soon as I get the chance. Okay. She's down. Here we have this black gold wild boar. I love how this look. One of the best looking rares in my opinion. We're gonna take some nice pictures. You don't see this every day, so I need to take a few. Alright. It is a 37 bronze. This might be my third or fourth black gold ever. I don't remember getting a female though, they were all males. So well, another nice addition to the lodge. We are back on the European bison grind, with still not a single melanistic, but I just found a massive respawn. And when I say massive, it's actually massive. I personally have never seen a bison with such a high estimate, it simply makes the last one look small. And that's quite a thing to say because the last one also had a big estimate. Right there. 279 to 338. That's not only a guaranteed diamond, it also has a high potential to score 290s or even max score, why not? Okay, so these guys have a reason right here, which means that they are gonna come back to it. In fact, they're already coming back. So, the best we can do here is simply to wait on this position. And maybe take cover in one of these spines, although they don't give full cover. So, it's almost the same as stay prone. Anyway, we're gonna use a hackage bow on this giant. It shouldn't be complicated on this situation, since they're gonna stop really close to us. Okay, they're gonna lay down right there. It's not exactly the ideal position. I mean, the level 5 is well hidden right there. It's not gonna be easy to take a shot if it's covered like that. We're gonna have to provoke them and make them go aggressive. And the best way to cause that is to get really close to them. Okay, let's see. That's a bull, but it's a level 3. There are still some cows over here. Well, we need to be careful. If we don't wanna get killed, of course. Okay. Now the whole head knows we're here. What is the five? Right there. Gonna go for the hat. Here we go. 
In that seat. Ok, now we gotta survive. Let's see what it scores. It is a 299.7. Almost max score. Diamond Bison. This is a gigantic European Bison. My biggest ever. The max score is 300. And this guy is extremely close to that. And... I just forgot to taxi it. So I'm a good to allow I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And see you next time.